Hello, everyone. It's Jalen Rose. And on behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, we've got some NBA basketball for you. The Utah Jazz have a Western Conference matchup against the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got Mike Green and JVG ready for the call. Welcome to Staples Center in Los Angeles as we get set for Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers taking on Derek Favors and the Utah Jazz. Hello again everyone and thanks for joining us along with Jeff Van Gundy Mike Green on hand. All right as this game gets underway Jeff is there anybody that stands out in your mind that they need to focus on against the Jazz tonight. This team cannot overlook what Derek Favors brings to the game. This is a young player who has raw athleticism, who loves to play in a transition game, who's a quick jumper and a quick second jumper. He's trying to own the paint. He's learning every day. He continues to improve. Soon enough, he'll be a big time player in this league. From beyond the arc, they were the rebound. Blows past the defender. Creates some space with that step back. Won't go. This is his first field goal attempt of the night to Bryant. Goes to the reverse. Flips it out. Shot won't go. The Jazz with the ball again. Burke against Nash. To Cantor. For two, converts on the inside. The assist from number 20, Gordon Hayward. L.A. in possession, looking to set something up. Bryant against Burks, down into the lane. Bryant draws the double. Let's it go. Good touch inside. Bryant for two. One of the most compelling stories in the NBA this year is the return of Kobe Bryant. What do you think, Jeff? Never bet against Kobe Bryant. Listen, father time, as our colleague Mark Jackson always says, is undefeated. And certainly there will be a time where Kobe Bryant can't muster up the performances we're used to seeing from him. But I don't think this is the time. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Bryant on the drive. Under pressure. The Lakers with the offensive rebound for another ball. Great hustle as he looks for the save. Steps out of bounds. They give it right back. And we have a couple of substitutions here. Rudy Gobert comes in for Enos Cantor. And Dante Exum also checks in for Trey Burke. Two defenders swarm. Favors fades for two. What a play. Time that one perfectly. All right, let's see that one again. The Lakers running it up the floor. Bryant on the drive. Just on the way to the rim. Draws the contact. Yep, it's a foul called against Gobert. Picks up his first person. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies. Again, here's the replay. The assist from number five, Carlos Boozer. Exum coming across. Defense! 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 
moving the ball. Excellent teamwork. Exum. For three off the catch and shoot. And the rebound grabbed by Hill. Hooser. And a foul is called. Defense. And Kobe Bryant will go to the line and shoot free throws. He's two for two from the line tonight. The Jazz are now in the penalty. First free throw, good. second timeout. Jeff, what do you think the coach has in mind? You wonder why they took a 20-second timeout here? I think it was to kick in the full timeout that their opponent now has to take. Sometimes you don't want to take a full timeout yourself. You want the other coach to have to use his full timeout. So they take the 20-second timeout to break momentum, and then they force, because of timing issues, the other coach to use his full. At the end of the first quarter, it's all tied up. We'll be right back with more basketball here on ESPN after this short break.